Okay, so now I've seen it in action, it was my turn to have a go at home. To get started, you'll need to install the HP D4D SmartStream plugin within your Adobe Illustrator. Because I'm new to this plugin, I started by watching the HP tutorials. The data just takes the image and makes it open. What? Oh, so you have to use Excel? A database. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so I need the palette open. Oh thanks. Oh look at this play. Oh, I don't think this is as easy as they were making it out to be. Because they're like, yeah, click on this and and then it's like, well hang on. No, it isn't there. <laughs> No, I'm not ready to go. <laughs> it's not on there. <laughs> this is like the idiot's guide. I don't understand. It's there. I've got it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my pizza first. Pizza break. Pizza devoured and plug-in installed. And I was just about ready to sort my designs out, so let's get started. So my idea was that I was going to create 100 posters using 10 backgrounds and 10 kind of like motivational quotes. So yeah, that was the plan and you're going to find out if that worked. I wanted them to all be consistent as a set of posters, so I stayed with the same layout and font. And then started making my patterns. So. Yeah, we've got dots, we've got lines, we've got stars, and I just stuck to the same kind of colour palette just to keep it kind of consistent. Okay, so I'm still looking a little bit confused, right? Oh, this is the Excel spreadsheet bit. So yeah, what I didn't realise is that basically you have to create an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm inputting the names of all of my files. So I've got two different columns, one with the text of like the motivational quote and the other with my background. So the theory is that you're supposed to input the file names into the spreadsheet and then it kind of works like InDesign in the sense that it will link it to it but as, as you'll see, spoiler alert, didn't quite go to plan because didn't really understand that bit from the tutorials but it's fine. And then I exported it as a word text document thing, didn't really know which one to go for so kind of guessed but it worked out in the end. 
just quit unexpectedly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to export my designs as assets to use. And now I'm ready to test out this database. Okay, here we go. So create a new channel and it kind of works in the same way as Adobe InDesign. So if you're familiar with that, you'll get this. So yeah, you create like an image channel, then you insert your image. So I've chosen background there and I know that they are PNG files. And then you can see images path is where all of the files are located. So then it matches that with the database information, well, hopefully. No, no, it's okay. It's just like I thought I hadn't worked out, and then, and then I was clicking preview, and then, um, yeah. It's like, no, you can't do that. Etc., 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 just be organized in how you link the different images and or place them in the grid. Can you tell me this now? <laughs> oh, I am not impressed. <laughs> so you have to have the files named the same as the things. <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, seems pretty logical to me now, but I didn't realise that at the start. So, yeah, change the normal file names. There we go. Export my database again. And hopefully it's going to work this time. Some of my file names are still not correct, but um, yeah, I'll get there eventually. another one it's not right <laughs> okay so it looks like I'm just gonna have a go and just see if I can export them anyway and then I come into a little problem called Java basically the version of Sierra that I was using it didn't like so yeah that wasn't too helpful but luckily I had some of the HP guys on hand to help me out figure out which installer I needed and sort the driver out. Oh my god, I think I finally figured it out. Kind of. I've got it, I've got it, I've worked out. I think I've got it. Got it. Okay, now I've got one part. <laughs> well, I'm only doing two elements. <laughs> so I've done the background and now I've got to do the text over the top. So in theory, it should just be the same thing repeated. Another thing that I should add is that I thought I'd be able to export all of my 100 posters all in one go, but... Unfortunately, the beta does not allow you to export more than 20 records at a time, so my initial idea of creating 100 posters from 10 backgrounds and 10 typographic motivational quotes was not going to work, but hey. I think I've 
done it or I've got some output at least. So after I think I'd like mastered it basically, I then set about exporting the 10 by 10. So instead of having 10 different backgrounds, I just set one background, did my 10 different typographic overlays, and then repeated that 10 times. But um, obviously if you had the software for real, then you wouldn't have to do that because you can just export like thousands and thousands of options all in one go. But yeah, this is just because it's the beta program, so obviously we're just testing it out. Yep, changing my database again, exporting the files again, changing the database again. It's all good fun. And I've done it. Let me show you my 100 posters.